FCR would be considered our standard upfront therapy for patients who are young without comorbidities, and it has a median progression-free survival of 57 months. So our follow-up with the upfront abrutinib study is still only 26 months. <laughs> so we can't really compare that, right? And we also know that the complete remission rate with single agent abrutinib is lower than FCR. So, but we don't know how important it is to achieve. Certainly with FCR, achieving complete remission is important. With drugs like abrutinib, we're not really sure how important it is to achieve complete remission yet. Maybe you can have a stable partial remission for an extended period. And so in the elderly population, in contrast, Alessandra Ferrioli spoke about how we don't exactly have a standard of care that is highly effective. We have chlorambucil, rituximab, for example. So abrutinib in that context is already beating <laughs> chlorambucil, rituximab, because we have the over 90% progression-free survival at 26 months, and the median for chlorambucil, rituxan is a little under two years. So in that patient population, there's a very clear benefit potentially to a brute